Edwards, trouble in the sixth. Single by Steve Pagis. Carlos Garcia scores from second. Pirates take a 3-1 lead, and no more sweet music for Frankie. He's done. Reds came back to tie it at three. Runners at the corners, one out in the seventh. Thomas Howard, grounder to Carlos Garcia. Jeff Branson, he's out at second, but Howard beats the throw to first. Hal Morris scoring 4-3 Reds. Pirates tie it with a sack fly in the ninth. To the tenth, Jeff Brantley facing Jeff King. And that is a missile, and that is out of here. Two-run shot. And the King feeling rather regal. Pirates win 6-4. Jeff King with four hits, including the game winner. Frank Viola, five and two-thirds innings, allowed three runs on eight hits. For the Pirates, just their second win in their last nine games. Phillies and Giants at Candlestick. Sid Fernandez had a three-hitter going into the seventh. After that pitch, he had to leave the game with stiffness in his back. Same thing that happened to him in his last outing. Fills up one to nothing in the eighth. Greg Jeffries taking Sean Barton downtown. Take my word for it, the ball did go out. And the next batter, Mark Whitten, he's hitting. This is a new way to televise base, but don't show the ball. We will tell you what happened. And I'll tell you, the Phillies win at 6 0. Fernandez, who was 0 4 pitching for the Orioles, looks like a new man winning his sixth game for the Phillies. Skipper Jim Fragosi said Al Cid has personally kept the Phillies in the wild card race. Expos edge the Padres 5 4 in 10. Darren Fletcher wins it with a solo homer with two down in the 10th frame. San Diego down. Blue Jays up 3 2. Wild pitch. Albert Bell goes to third base. Hurtado and Sandy Martinez combined for four wild pitches and two passed balls. Eddie Murray. Singles to center. Bell comes in and we are tied at three. To the bottom of the ninth. Blue Jays up 4-3. Tony Castillo is pitching. Runners at second and third. Carlos Baerga pinch hitting. Sack fly. Wayne Kirby tags and he scores. We're tied at four. Time for an Albert Bell bar, huh? In the tenth. Game tied at four. Not anymore. Do you believe this? Albert Bell does it again off Jimmy Rogers. Bell with his 33rd tied with Frank Thomas for the lead in the majors. Indians win in dramatic fashion 6-4 Bell two nights in a row ending games with homers and extra innings. Cleveland's won eight in a row 11-0 in extra innings this season. They won for their 24th time in the final at bat. This is driven deep to left. Stan Javier goes back and he's got it right at the wall. Jeff Houston tags on the play. Orioles down 3-2. Javier also 4 for 5 at the plate in the 6th. Game tied at 6. Chris Hoyles. A drive deep to left. Javier goes back. Jose Herrera at the wall. They leap and come up empty. That's gone. Hoyles 17th homer. 7-6 Orioles. Top of the 8th. Mike Bordick at the plate. He sends it high and deep. And aloha means goodbye. Two run shot. Bordick 6th. And the A's go on to win it 8-7. They sweep the series, earning their first sweep of the birds since 92. Eck saving all three games in the series for Oakland. Ricky Henderson, by the way, the subject of trade rumors, told manager Tony La Russa he was not able to play because he wasn't mentally into it. Cal Ripken. Two going for his 11th victory of the season. Top of the first, Jose Vizcaino is a statue. Still in the first, Carl Everett. Swing and a miss, and still in the first. Jeff Kent goes down swinging. Nomo striking out the side. He would fan 11 in the game. Bottom of the six. Dodgers up one zip. Dave Tailgater giving up this blast to Mike Piazza. It's a double. Brett Butler scores. 2-0 L.A. Next batter is Eric Karros. And this ball is out of here. Is 25th. Dodgers up four zip. Still bottom six. Mike Bush. First major league hit. The Dodgers congratulate him in the dugout. He is one of them. But the Dodgers blow a five-run lead. Bottom nine, we're tied at five. Bases loaded. Eric Karros, line drive to center. Ryan Thompson makes the catch, drops it once, drops it twice. Brett Butler says, I'm going home. Tagging up, and he is safe. Oh, brother, what a way to blow a game. Ryan Thompson cannot believe what happened to him. Dodgers win at 6-5. to five. Todd Worrell actually gets the win despite blowing his third consecutive save. Butler 3-5. for five. He scored three runs. The Dodgers, with the victory, take a half-game lead over the Rockies in the NL West. Astros and Braves in Atlanta. Greg Maddox on the hill going for victory number 15. In the first, no score. Derek May, base hit up the middle. Brian Hunter scores 1-0. to nothing. Houston to the bottom of the fifth. Tied at one. Doug Drabeck on the mound. Rafael Belliard fly to right. Milt Thompson is there. Luis Polonia. 
tagging up the throw in time. Polonius slides past Pat Borders. He's going to the dugout. One problem, never touched the plate. He is out. This girl loves Chipper. And so do a lot of other people. After this stroke, Chipper Jones, solo shot off Doug Drabeck. We're tied at two. Braves would take the lead on a Dwight Smith sack fly. And Maddox, he can pitch, he can also field. Getting Dave Maggot in, throwing him out from his knees. Maddox getting his 15th win as the Braves post a 5-2 final. Maddox tossing his third straight complete game. And get this, his ninth of the season. He leads the league with 15 wins. The Braves snap their three-game slide. By the way, the Astros have called up Jeff Bagwell. The slugger has been out rehabbing a broken bone in his hand. Cubs and the Marlins in Miami. Willie Banks facing his former team. In the second, facing Brian McRae. Bases loaded. Single up the middle. Scores Scott Service and Ray Sanchez. 2-0 Cubbies. To the fourth we go. Banks facing Jose Hernandez. Here it comes. And there it goes. Hernandez going downtown. His 10th, 3-0 Chicago. Buddy Grumon working to the same man. Hernandez with the bases loaded in the fifth. New pitcher. The result is the same. Grand slam for Hernandez as the Cubs roll 12-3. Quite a nice line for Mr. Hernandez. Three for five, two homers, one of them a grand slam, five ribbies. Hernandez got the call to start because Sean Dunstan couldn't go. Slump. Bottom one, two on. Way back his 17th homer on the year. Three-run shot, 3-0 three Yanks. Bottom two now. O'Neill up again. See that front foot turn. Again off Anderson. Another three-run shot. His 18th on the year. 7-0 Yanks. O'Neill leading off the bottom of the fifth. His third at bat. This time, Mike Harkey's a pitcher. Same result. Way back. Another home run. The third homer for O'Neill in the ball game. Yanks up 8-1. Bottom six, O'Neill's fourth at bat. Not a home run. Base hit, though, off Bob Patterson, scoring Pat Kelly. O'Neill, a career high, eight RBIs, three short of an American League record. Here, he leads off the bottom of the eighth. Struck out, but still a remarkable game for O'Neill as the Yanks win 11-6. After losing nine straight games, the Yanks have won four out of five. O'Neill is the 14th Yank to ever hit three homers in one game. He went four for five, the eight RBIs, four runs scored, 13 total bases. Angels have lost six in a row. Seattle and Boston. Randy Johnson didn't start because he couldn't get his arm loose. Top of the second. Mariners up 3-1. Runners on first and third. Cormier to Luis Soho. Base hit. Soho had three hits. Cormier gave up six runs and one and a third. Mariners up 4-1. Still top of the second. Next man up. Edgar Martinez. He went two for four. Drove in three. Two on this one play. Coleman and Soho score. Mariners up 6-1. Starting for Johnson, Bob Wolcott. Strikes out Tim Nairing here. Ends the fifth inning. Walcott goes six innings, gives up two runs, strikes out four. Top eight, Jay Buhner. Mariners up 6-2. Yes, please. A three-run home run for Buhner. Mariners crush Boston 11-2. Johnson got scratched on August 6th with the same shoulder stiffness, but came back to record a .96 ERA in his next four starts. Walcott, the win in this one, is now 2-1 and in his career. Both wins have come against Boston. Seattle has won five out of seven. Brewers and Royals, top nine, five, three KC. Jeff Montgomery in, two on. Daryl Hamilton, blooper to left. Drops, hole scores. But Greg Gagne throws the relay away. Listash comes in to score. Hamilton's going to go to third. We are all tied at five runs apiece. Next man up, Kevin Seitzer. Base hit, and just like that, Milwaukee's up 6-5, but hold everything. Bottom nine, a developing situation. Your batter is Johnny Damon. Second pitch of the inning, over the fence and right. His first major league home run ties the game at six. Still bottom nine. Bases loaded. Goodwin's on third. Mike Fetters tries to pick him off and throws it away. How about that? Goodwin comes in to score. Just Fetters, third blown save in 23 opportunities. Royals win a wild one, 7-6. They've won five straight, seven of eight. They